Welcome to the notes on equations of lines. Here it is, slope-intercept form. It's the most important thing when talking about lines and graphing lines. Okay, so it is y equals m, okay? That's the slope, all right? Slope-intercept, slope comes first. mx plus b, all right? There's the, in, the intercept, okay? Y-intercept. So m, all right? Why do we call it m? Because again, just remind you guys, that's how you move on the graph. And just remember, we always talk about how do you move. It's always rise over run, okay? That y over x, okay? And then b, why do we call it b? Because that's where you always will begin when you're graphing. Keep that in mind, okay? That y, it's always y equals mx plus b. Okay, and then now think, remember, y-intercept, that is a point on a graph, all right? It's the y-intercept point. So don't forget, y-intercept, it's any time x is zero, and then whatever that value is, that goes in your equation. So in order to graph a line or know the equation, all you need to know is the slope and one point on that line. And ideally, it's that y-intercept. So now let's look at how we're going to use this. All right, find an equation of the line with a y-intercept of 0, negative 3, and the slope of 1 fourth. Watch how easy this is, okay? So we know we're going to put it into our slope-intercept form, which is, again, y equals mx plus b. All right, so that's kind of slow. Plus b. There it is. Okay, well, they tell us our y-intercept. It says it right here. It's 0, negative 3. Okay, so for, for uh, since it's 0, negative 3, I'm going to put in negative 3 right here for my b. And the slope is 1 fourth. So I see an m, I'm going to put 1 fourth. And then I just simply fill out the rest. y equals slope, which is 1 fourth. We put that x there. And in this case, it's minus 3. So here is my answer right here. y equals 1 fourth x minus 3. That's slope intercept form. Y is by itself. The term with x is next. And then the constant, the y intercept is on by itself. Or at the end. Now, how do you graph? Okay, well, let's begin at the y-intercept. Let's put that point on the graph. We always have to start at the point we know. 0, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Right here. There's 0, negative 3. The slope is 1, 4. Remember, that's rise over run. So I'm going to go up 1. And then I'm going to count over. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put a point right there. There's my second point. And then I'm just going to connect my dots. And there's my graph. It's positive, And you can see it's going up to the right. Okay, let's take a look at another example with slope-intercept form. Now it's going to say graph the equation 3x minus 4y equals 4. Well, remember, in order to graph it, we have to have it in slope-intercept form first, which just simply means y by itself. We've got to get this y by itself. So here we go. Let's do that. It's just solving equations. If I'm going to do that, I don't want that 3x. Here's my y right here. Well, I don't want this 3x over here, so minus 3x minus 3x. So now I'm going to rewrite this thing. So I'm going to have minus 4y, I'm going to write right over here, minus 4y equals, now notice right here, I'm not going to put 4 minus 3x, I want to keep it that mx plus b4, so I'm going to put the minus 3x first, and since that was a positive 4, I'm going to put plus 4. Well now y is almost by itself, I just got to get rid of this negative 4, so I'm going to divide by negative 4. What you do to one side, you have to do the other, we're just solving equa equations. But remember, divide every term by 4, negative 4. So my final answer will be y equals, well, negative divided by a negative, that's going to be positive, and 3 over 4 does not reduce. So we're going to keep it as a reduce, as 3 fourths x, and then positive divided by negative is a negative, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So there's my new equation right here. Let's graph it. Well, let's start at our y-intercept. That's where we begin, all right? There's our b, begins, negative 1, right here, 0, negative 1. Our slope is 3 fourths. Remember, that's y over x, so up 3. Rise over run, 1, 2, 3, over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's my second point, and then I'm just going to graph that. All right, there you go. And again, it's a positive slope, and it is going up left to right. Always check that. And then quick little reminder about vertical and horizontal lines. Remember, a vertical line, all right, it's undefined. It's just the equation is x equals whatever that constant is, whatever the x value is of that point. All right, and a horizontal line where the slope is 0, well, y equals all right, the y value of the points given, all right, which will eventually be the y-intercept. So here's two quick examples, all right. Vertical line through x equals negative 1. Well, it's a vertical line, so it has to be x equals. I just look at my point. What is my x value? Oh, it's right there. So it's x equals negative 1. Horizontal line, all right, we know the slope is 0. So it's going to be y equals, and then it's just going to be whatever my y value is, which in this case is 3, so it's y equals 3. Quick little reminder, 
All right, remember vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular to each other. So they may ask you an example like this. They have a man line y equals 5, and they may say perpendicular to, so they may want it perpendicular to that line, and through, I'll just abbreviate, through the point, the, the point 1, 2. Well, if it's perpendicular to a horizontal line, we know it has to be x equals, and and vertical lines are always x equals whatever the x value is in your ordered pair, so it would just be x equals 1. So they may ask you about those kind of uh, vertical and uh, horizontal lines being perpendicular, parallel. There is all for graphing and our review on vertical and horizontal lines.